Hello there, and welcome to a Dev Story. So lately I've been putting some videos together regarding computer science fundamentals. I'm trying to cover some of the core concepts that are uh, very important as a software developer that you know, or if you're learning to become a software developer, or if you're preparing for a technical interview, you need to get a quick summary of them. I've been trying to make them uh, very briefly, so they can be, you know, like uh, watch in a in, during you know that small time that you have between buses or waiting for uh, for for a movie to start or something. You know, like you can get, grab them in snack a snack by its size. So I've been covering se uh, several topics, and lately I've been covering sorting algorithms. There are a bunch of sorting algorithms, and I just want to mention some of them. And I will put uh, these videos mostly put some references. Uh, regarding sorting algorithm that might be useful for you. I'm going to show you a quick overview of some of the other sorting algorithms that are also important to know, but I'm going to show them directly from the Wikipedia page and you can go directly to the source and I will also link to other resources uh, on the description. And uh, some of these algorithms are, for example, uh, selection sort. The way that it works is basically it will look for uh, the element on the list and going to pick the lowest one and put it first and then go to the next uh, Traverse the whole list and find the next one and doing several times until the list is sorted and you can see a quick animation in the Wikipedia page for example Then we have also heap sort and and heap sort is also as as merge sort and and, and, and quick sort is uh, end log n algorithm heap sort can be seen as a specialization on, on selection sort but the rest of the element kind a little bit sorted into a heap structure. So instead of looking every time all the elements to find the lowest one, it will just look a part of them. And that's how it becomes n log n instead of n square. We then can see, for example, insertion sorts. The way insertion sort works is that you're going to pick one number and whenever that number uh, you compare it to the next one and see if the next one is lower, you will move it at the beginning, right? You will try to insert it in the correct position. That's why it's called um, insertion sorts. And you can see uh, also a nice animation on the Wikipedia page that explains it uh, way better. Then we have bubble sort. And the way that bubble sort works is basically it will be comparing any uh, pair of elements that are next to each other and will swap them in case one is larger than the other and it will do it for each of the elements in the in the array or in the list and at the end you will kind of have the, the list sorted by kind of doing it uh, in a bubbling way right you will start bubbling the largest element to the right for example then we get into a certain kind of algorithms that are called non-comparative sorting algorithms like radix sort or a bucket sort and this basically what they do is to uh, try to organize the element using a discriminator, right? Instead of trying to compare them all together. So for example, in the case of bucket sort, the, um, what it does is it splits the no uh, has a number of buckets. And in this number of buckets, you will be splitting the numbers that you have into them. So for example, uh, if you have 10 numbers and five buckets, if they are correctly sorted, then you will have uh, kind of two elements per bucket. And then you can sort the elements in the buckets and and, and get the full list sorted. Uh, if you see it, if bucket sort, if you only have two buckets, it kind of becomes quick sort. As I mentioned, there are other good resources. And of course, there's also my guide where you can see a quick overview of all of these topics and there are links there to Wikipedia and other resources. And it has a very short descriptions on each of these algorithms and their complexity and all the other topics that might be useful for you. So if, if you're interested, uh, don't, don't miss it out. I sadly don't have uh, enough time to cover them all in this video. So if you're interested in knowing more about them, just uh, write some comments below. I might have some time to explain some of them in another video. So thank you very much again for watching. And uh, if you like the video, if it's uh, been useful for you, just uh, don't forget to, to share, to comment, to uh, tell your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.